What it do, who is your gang? It's your girl T, and I'm back with another video. My room is a mess, and night wanna be all up on me. I might move. But I just got out the shower. I wasn't gonna show y'all, but you feel me? I washed my hair. Can you stop? Show the people them how you acting up. Show them how you acting up. Show them how you act. Show them how you act. Show them. God, I'm trying to do my story time. Stop. As I was saying, Drew Berry got her watch, so I have to get my watch too. Like, we both gotta be cute, feel me? Like, but, um, yeah, it's Vlogtober. So, today's story time is gonna be about, um, the time I saw Busta Rhymes. And when I tell you, I didn't even know it was Busta Rhymes. I know that I should know my peoples, but I didn't know, or at least I didn't expect it to be him, considering where I was at. But we're going to get into that. I don't know where I've seen him, right? Y'all want to know? Before we get into the video, like, comment, subscribe, turn your post notifications on if you're not already on. Do what you got to do to stay in tune with Sugar. I'm just trying to get all situated. Let me pull this up before y'all think I don't got no clothes on. See, I'm nosy. <laughs> but as I tell my story, I got my essentials because I am going to get straight into it and start my hair. But I definitely use aloe vera. For all my natural babies with dreads, locks, whatever you want to call it. Aloe vera. Yes. Because it doesn't like, it's not too thick. Like with the texture. It's not going to attract, um, what I want to say. It's not going to attract lint and stuff like that. Like when you use the beeswax, it's too sticky, too. And I, don't, I ain't into that. So aloe vera is what I use. So I'm going to just get right into telling the story because I know y'all feeling it. Y'all feeling it to know. Where I seen him. <laughs> Sis got hang time. Okay, so I got the scrunchies too. To, um, you know, separate it through the front to back. Oh my goodness. I'm going to um, put somewhere what style I'm going to do. The style I'm trying to do. I'm going to post it and see if I could create it myself. Because the people that I'm out here um, that you trying to get to do your hair, they be a waste of your time. Like, I might even well get into how black people act, but yeah, I'm about to be my own loctician because you ask these people, you call these people to do your hair and they see the text and leave you on red. So yeah. So we're gonna have to hurry up and get right into this story time because my hair is gonna dry up. Anybody that got locks, y'all know. It doesn't take a second for these bad boys to dry up on their own, feel me? And I need it to be wet while i'm doing it but um yeah so i got invited to a listening party one of my friends listening party and oh should i grease it first i'm gonna grease it after but oh no i should grease the ends first and i could grease the scalp later i'm gonna be so distracted i don't know how y'all be doing this like talking and doing hair and <laughs> i'm too focused i'm gonna get all distracted as y'all can see like i can't keep it together i don't know how y'all do this but i'm learning y'all bear with me but um yeah so yeah, he invited me to his listening party and you feel me i, I wanted to go support a friend feel me so i did just that but i had to also bring a friend whatever i wasn't gonna go alone i could have went alone but i didn't so my cousin came along with me. I'm going to, you know, import the vids, you know, on the way there. We was, <laughs> we was turning up on the way. Like, we was getting started, you feel me? So, we definitely, you know, drove all the way there, got there, whatever. And when I got there, I'm like, damn, is this part of the city? Like, all in all, as long as I had got me a park, that's all. I was really concerned about honestly like because that'd be the main issue driving to the city parking so we was lit my camera keep falling aside now. um the building that it was at is called quad studio i don't know if y'all heard of that before so we go there and oh when i reached he was reaching my friend has was reaching the same time too so i was like good yes or whatever it was on the penthouse or whatever lit so we all going up or whatever and they like, oh, like to get up, you have to, um, to get up to the penthouse. I guess somebody had to press the elevator for you to um, get up there, whatever. 
So we get up there, whatever, and we see the vibes. You feel me? Mind you. Oh, <laughs> you see what we was doing in the car, right? Oh, okay. So I'm like, oh, this is the type of time like niggas is doing whatever in here. We could we could have brought our own shit. So me ran back down, ran back downstairs to go get to go get the hooks, feel me? I'm like, yeah, we about to do this because I don't smoke, you feel me? So I'm like, I'm not gonna be participating in all that smoking that's going on or whatever, but, so I'm like, okay. Went downstairs, go got the hooks. You know, I got the hookah, who got the bottles. We in the ah, 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 feel me? <laughs> so, um, yeah, went and got the hookah. So on my way back up now, Remember, I need somebody to press the elevator. So I'm hitting up my cousin like, oh, press the elevator for me, right? And I tell him, press the elevator for me. So I get in the elevator and there's this boy already in there. Maybe I shouldn't call him a boy, a guy. He already in there or whatever. So he like, I don't know if he was holding the elevator for somebody. I don't know what he was doing. But what I knew is I'm getting in the elevator to go back upstairs with my hoops. Like I'm trying to bun this. You feel me? Big smoke or whatever. So, um, <laughs> I go in the elevator. He's telling me, the boy telling me to, I have to get out the elevator and take a different elevator. Get out? Who are you, sir? <laughs> y'all know, if y'all know how my attitude is set up, I was like, my nose turned up quickly. Like, who you talking to? And he was Caucasian. Like, don't talk to me like that. So, um, I'm like, no. He's like, do you know where you're going or something? You got to um have a specific... I don't know. Whatever, right? He's, he's all in all, he's telling me to get out the elevator. And I was like, no. Like, I know where I'm going. And somebody's going to press the elevator for me to come up. That's how I have to... Because he was trying to tell me in order to get in somebody... Oh, that's what he said. Somebody got to come down and get me. I said, no. I Because when I first came in, he called somebody to press the elevator to um send it up while we're in it. So I'm like, no, I know what I'm doing. Like, mind you, if I didn't go up my friend and, we, and did all of that, I would have never known. I would like, all right, I would have got out the elevator. But no, I did it. I already know what, what to do, you know, what is what. So I'm like, no, I'm not getting out the elevator. You get out. <laughs> I ain't time to get out. But I'm like, no, I know what I'm doing. Like, thanks for your help, but no thanks. So um, what happened? So I didn't get out the elevator because I, I already told my cousin, oh, you know, press the elevator to come up. Mind you, it's two elevators. He was telling me to go in the other one. So, all in all, I, I didn't know the man is holding the elevator for somebody. I didn't know. Like, cause I, like you know, I'm just thinking about getting my ass back upstairs. Whatever. It's a bundle hooks. So, um, what happens? So, I'm in the elevator waiting or whatever for one of them to press the elevator to, to send it back up. So, while I'm waiting in the ele elevator, the boy came out or whatever. And I'm just still in there and the elevator had closed. So I don't know if he must thought that it, it had left. The elevator had left and went up. But when he pressed it back on the outside to... Is that coming right? When he pressed the elevator to um, go back up, to go up now, I'm still in the elevator. So I guess he just like, all right, whatever. He's going to get in the elevator because whoever he was holding the elevator for is here now. So I guess he don't want no problems or whatever. So... They all get in the elevator, him and another white boy or whatever, and some next man, and bust the rhymes. <laughs> so, some next, so all of them in the elevator, and I'm on, I think I was, I think I was on the phone trying to call my cousin to tell her to send it up, or I don't know what I was on, or maybe I was in Snapchat. Why am I camera keep fucking falling? So maybe I was already in Snapchat because, you know, I love to record. I record everything, y'all. So um, my friends hate me for that. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I'm in the elevator and I'm like, I know I don't know things. I don't know people, whatever it is. But I'm like, is this Busta Rhymes? Like, I was so confused because he just looked different, sort of, kind of. Like, I don't know what I usually know him to look like, you feel me? So I'm like, yo, what's the odds? Me just being in the elevator and look, they coming in here. <laughs> so I'm weak at myself because I'm like, I don't know nothing. So immediately I took out my phone, got the Snap app on. I'm trying to hurry up 
and record before we get off the elevator because they in front of me, you feel me? Like, they always stand in front of me. I'm just in the corner. I feel like, yo, I, I don't even know how to describe it. I just feel like, like, what is the odds? Like, how I'm just here, like, being somewhere where you didn't even know to be. And look, boom, celebrity. Like, I was like, ah! I was like, what's this? So, I'm like, let me just hyper record. Just in case it is him, you know, I have the, you know, the vid to show for. So, I was so tight because um, when I started to record, his back was turned a little bit, as you can see. His back was turned, but he had, like, from the time when he had walked into the elevator, if I started recording, you know, I would have got his whole face or whatever because I was already in the elevator, like I said. Like, the door opened and I was already in the elevator. So... Yeah, I, I started recording. I'm like, I hear. Then he started talking. I, I, I heard his voice. I'm like, Nah, that is him. That has to be. I'm going to get caught. You gotta stop. Yeah, he just seems turning the car. Snapchat to all my friends like oh is this is this him is this him like you know because I wasn't sure or whatever so I get I get to the penthouse now and I tell my friend or whatever I'm like yo I just saw like I don't I think I just saw who you know I'm telling him I think I just saw who I thought I saw and he was like oh yeah this is a popular um studio so you probably just might have had did see him so then I showed him the video and he was like he was like he was like, yeah, that was definitely him. I was like, dang, I wish I had got a better bit of his face. But all in all, so yeah, I saw Busta Rhymes, y'all, yeah, whatever. I was somewhere where I didn't even know to be to see him and just, you know, at least see him. But I need to finish my hair because I'm trying to go out tonight. You feel me? Like, I'm trying to get this hair done. And I told you, I don't know how to do my hair because I really don't even know what I'm doing. Like, So I'm, I'm going to do this, but that's the story of how I... I saw Busta Rhymes, but do what y'all gotta do, y'all. Like, comment, and subscribe. And my phone acted up too. Like, I got no space, no storage space to even do this video I'm doing now. But stick with me, y'all. Stick with me. I'm getting through. I'm, I'm doing what I gotta do to get these vids out for y'all. So, yeah.